Brought to you by Sprite. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, and by my side is Shaquille O'Neal. We've got basketball at Oracle Arena, the home of the Warriors in Oakland, California, live on 2K Sports. And as we start the weekend here on this Friday night, this is Kevin Harlan with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg welcoming you to NBA basketball on 2K Sports. So Golden State will get the first possession. Look at Cleveland's starting group. The two stars, LeBron and Love, at the three and the four. Amon Shepard is out there with Irving, and it's Mozgov, and at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Boy, he's got a nice-looking stroke. That almost went in. Yeah, a lot of times, he'll hit that shot regardless of the defense. Love kicks to James. And the pass to Irving. 13 feet away, and he drops that one in. Irving's got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for the Cavs. Harry Irving, three seasons ago, was the only rookie in NBA history to shoot as well as he did from the three-pointers, the field, and the free throw line. There's no question about it. He is an elite shooter. James with it. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Dishes it to Shumper. Pulls up. Offensive rebound, Mozgov. Here's Love. It's another look, and that's two points on the layup. Love's got his first basket. That's some tenacity inside, battling for the second chance points. And Irving, super skilled, one of the league's best shooters, and he made a strong case for being the league's most elusive ball handler as well. Seems to get by his man pretty much at will. The shot's good from Love. You know, he's got a lot of inches on the defender in that matchup, and he can just shoot right over the top of him without worrying about being bothered. Nobody near Barnes. Hands the shot with nobody near him. Barnes has got his second bucket tonight. And Irving's super quick with the ball in his hands. And he gets to the basket a master using spin and English to convert. And Kevin, you know, the story is that growing up, the hoop in his yard had a big part of the backboard broken off on the right side, so he had to learn that spin in English in order to bank it in. I like that story. The necessity is the mother of creation. For Cleveland, they've gone three of seven from the field since we've gotten underway. LeBron with it, and it's Iguodala picking him up. The Warriors have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. That one off the back iron and out. Boy, for my taste, he's far too inconsistent with that shot. I mean, he's got to make those if he's going to take his game to the next level. They get it back. He's got a nice touch on that shot normally, but good defense there clogging the lane. That's good. What a smooth finish. Well, he's certainly the one they want on the end of those breaks. He always finishes strong. Well, Cleveland shooting 33% here in the first quarter. LeBron passes to Mozgov, kicks it to Shumpert, and it's Mozgov in the corner with some arc. Second chance shot, and it's blocked by Curry. Thompson against Irving. It's Curry outside, and the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. James in the post, and he uses the glass on the layup. Well, they just gave him two points. Defensively, you're going to have to tighten things up here. That's that's not a good sign. And Thompson kicks to Iguodala. 
Chance there to take the lead, missing. The Cavs just never really built any consistency last year for long stretches. And, you know, when that happens, it's hard to get wins away from home. Now well, here's Curry. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. James kicks to Irving. From 15 feet away, good, and the assist goes to James. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. Warriors trail by four. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Snatched up. Here's Green. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Pretty bad defense letting the offense get right to the rim, but a smart play to foul once he was there. But you know what's going to happen. They sent a message right there. Nothing easy inside. Draymond Green was the 35th pick back in 2012, and he's made an impact thus far with his defense, rebounding, and great IQ for the game. And I like his competitive spirit, too. He helps you win in a lot of ways. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Andrew Bogut checked in for Iguodala. Lee comes in for Harrison Barnes. Leandro Barbosa, he's checked in for Clay Thompson. And it's Livingston in for Curry. That's good from Verizhao. And Green more of an offensive player at Michigan State. I think he's still adjusting to the added distance on the NBA three-point arc. But shot it really well in the playoffs last year. So just getting better and better every year. Now here is Barbosa. Fade away. They get the rebound. Great D that time from Irving. Really good performance so far on the boards for this club. Boy, I like the way they've done a great job carving out space under the basket when the shots have gone up. Tell the Dover. That will be Cleveland as it goes out of bounds. Uh, Cavaliers retain possession. One twelve left to play in the first quarter. Irving attacking. Passes it to Delavidova. Over Barbosa. Here's Thompson. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. He's a grinder. Love what he does under the offensive boards. Really bringing energy and life to his team. And Green very vocal, very outspoken. He's occasionally rubbed, in fact, opponents the wrong way. Yeah, never shy about contact either, Kevin. He can get under opponent's skin at times, but if he's your teammate, you love what he brings to the table. And Leandro Barbosa, a bucket on the assist by Livingston. Here's Irving. 54 seconds left in the first quarter. Trying to get open is Thompson. Here's Verizhao. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Andrew Bogut. The Cavaliers have gone two for two in the game at the line. And you look at the numbers from a year ago, guys. This is a club that hit about 75% of its free throw. Well, Anderson Verizhao staying relatively healthy last season. That's to say he only missed 17 games. That's a far cry from his previous three seasons where he played a total of just 81 games. Heads up play there, guys. On the assist and the finish. 41 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Irving. The nine-footers on the mark. Irving's got six. Kevin, they've been playing with an awful lot of energy here, getting a lot of offensive rebounds. That's always an indicator of hustle and energy. And the wide open shot from Green. Warriors the rebound. Barbosa. And they convert it last on attempt number three. Barbosa's got his third basket of the night right there. There's 21 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Smith. Warriors with the rebound. Green's got rebound number five here tonight. And the call will be against David Lee. That is his first foul of the game. Terrific defensive play to cut him off and square up. He took a shot. Excellent toughness to get in there and make a play. I love that kind of work. Irving attacking. Fires from the wing. Count that one. Irving's got eight. You're going to be waiting a long time if you're waiting for him to miss that when he's that open. All right, 
with the second quarter beginning in just a moment. What stands out to you from the Cavaliers in this one? And it's really been a dominant effort on the glass. That's been the key here. Yeah, they've established nice low post presence, which always tends to help you on the rebound. That'll be a five second call. Warriors trail by seven. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the court for Cleveland, the two stars, LeBron and Love, at the three and the four. Matthew Delavidova is out there with Smith, and it's very shallow in at the center. And a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Well, guys, Kyrie Irving, the number one pick overall back in 2011, a player who promised himself he'd play in the NBA when he was just in the fourth grade. He said that came from his father. Confidence, confidence, confidence. That's all my dad preached. He'd always tell me, Kyrie, you could be this. You could be that. My dad had more belief in me than I had in myself. Gentlemen. You know, it helps having people boosting you up, Doris. Thanks. James with it, and it's Iguodala picking him up. Second chance effort, and he lays it up and in. And that's now six points for Anderson Barajan. Now there's something for the top ten highlight reel right there. A layup can be just as sweet and as pretty as a dunk sometimes. Now here's Thompson. He hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure will change. Offensively, he can be the engine that drives them at any given time. James against the good out. Lets it fly. No good off the front iron. Things have really gone south for him here in the quarter. And it's Thompson with the jam. How about that fantastic finish and the aggressive move to Kevin? Trying to send a message, Clark, with that slam, I think. Well, that's how you send it. Two hands and hammer it down. Early on last year, the Warriors showed that they were going to be a team to make the postseason in the West. Couldn't get the home court advantage, though, and that kind of hurt. Yeah, it did. And as dangerous as their team is in the playoffs with the shooting ability they have, they're much better if they could have gotten an extra game at four for a Cavaliers leading. A 17-footer. Andre Iguodala comes up with the rebound. Curry with a wide-open look. It's good. This game is all even. Curry's got seven points here in this quarter. It was a slow start for him, but he started to take off since we hit the second quarter, guys. That extra game would matter in the end. Last full season, the Warriors lost to the Clippers in the back and forth game seven. And the whistle blow is going to be on Andre Iguodala. Green, he's checked in for Andre Iguodala. Mozgov, he's checked in for Cleveland. Mon Shepard has come in for J.R. Smith. Got that bucket in in no time at all. And the Cavaliers lead by two. Well, the Warriors expected and hoped to go farther than the first round of the playoffs, but you have to give them a lot of credit for playing the Clippers as tough as they did, considering they were down multiple centers during that series. Here's Shumper, not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. And now a four-point Cavalier lead to the wing right side. This now to Kerr. A shot by Thompson, and no one's allowed. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision making for them offensively. Yeah, absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding. They're piling up the assists. Golden State's got gold from deep in the second quarter, just two of six from long range. Pass to Barnes. From outside the arc, and the call will be against David Lee. That'll be his second foul of the game. He's jammed himself up a little bit here with that second foul. As long as he can avoid a third before the half, I think he's fine. And some changes here for the Warriors. Andrew Bogut checked in for Lee, and it's Barbosa in for Thompson. Then for the Cavaliers, Tristan Thompson comes in for Kevin Love, and Kyrie Irving subbed in for Matthew Delavidova. And Leandro Barbosa gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. And that one's good. And that's now ten points for Kyrie Irving. Perfect inbound pass and an easy two points. 
Boy, some would like to give Kyrie Irving an injury-prone label. I'm not sure if that's fair. Although in his first three seasons, he has yet to stay healthy and start to finish. Thompson misses. Hey, the defense was right there, just waiting. Doing a nice job of anticipating that play. Steve, every team needs tough interior defense to be successful. Great interplay there between those two teammates. The Cavaliers leading by three. And it's Shumpert penetrating. And he gets it to go. Shumpert's got six points in the quarter. I really like the fact that he's getting the touches he needs here after not scoring a single point in that first quarter. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Well, guys, the Cavs' David Blatt, the first ever NBA head coach directly hired from the international ranks. Though we grew up near Boston, a diehard Celtics fan, he represents all the aspiring NBA coaches from abroad, saying, quote, I feel a great sense of responsibility. I feel like I've got to do a good job. Kevin, he's certainly got the personnel to do it. A roster loaded with talent, Doris. Indeed. Thank you. And so here is Golden State following the score by Cleveland. That's good. Curry's got a pair of triples in the second round for the Warriors. In the first, he had trouble hitting with any consistency. But here in the second, he's turned it around. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Cavaliers. Last season, Andrew Bogut was able to say that he was the healthiest he's been in years. And that might not seem like much, but it makes a huge difference for him to be at full strength. And the Warriors making a change here. Livingston's checked in. This quarter for him, seven shots with just one make to show for it. Here's Barbosa. That one a little long. And little to no chance of that shot going in. Yeah, that was a tough one right there. And with Bogut feeling 100%, you know, he had so many injuries over the years leading up to last season, but it was hard for him to really find himself once again. He's 100%. He's really a force in the middle. Now here's Barnes. He has six. Here's Livingston. And the miss, not the best shot selection there. Now are they ever working inside? Good job on the glass. Excellent job on the glass, Steve. I agree. I mean, they're battling in there. They're fighting. They're scrapping. They're clawing. And they're getting the job done. Green kicks to Bogut. Shumpert with the steal. And so that's the end of the first half. Cavaliers lead by six. And yes, Kevin here with Stephen Curry. And Steph, you... everybody the start of the second half getting underway both teams battling hard through the first half Kyrie Irving really making a difference here yeah he played a very mature first half offensively just finding gaps and making good decisions getting into the defense and knocking down shots well the way he played that first half that's exactly what we're talking about when we say offensive efficiency Steph Clay and Drake in the perimeter Green is up there with Harrison Barnes that's the Warriors five took the opportunity when he saw it. Iguodala's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for the Warriors. Cleveland leading by four. Everything appeared to be lined up for Cleveland to get back in the playoffs last year, but that just wasn't the case. A lot of what-ifs for them last season. And with another top pick on the roster, Kevin, and a youthful team, they were a popular pick before the season to play postseason games, but they still needed some season. Here's a good out. Thompson with it. Guarded now by Yurton. And Thompson kicks to a good out. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Iguodala's got five points in the quarter. You might not think of him as a laser three-point shooter, but that shot was there for him, and he had to take it. LeBron is doubled. possession here. Warriors trail by three. They get a hand on it. Golden State moving the ball around. And Curry pulls it down. 
Curry's got rebound number five here tonight. Shumpert against Iguodala. And there's Stephen Curry on the assist by Iguodala. And 12 points for Steph Curry. They've been good on all three of their shots since coming out of the locker room at the break. LeBron with it. Now Green defending. He's going to be over and back, not watching for the line that time. The Warriors making a switch here. Lee's checked in. And then for Cleveland, Farajal comes in for Moscow. And J.R. Smith subbed in for James. Curry with a wide open look. And that misses. That would have put him up. Now still a great start to the half after hitting their first three, even before that miss. The nine-foot shot, once again off the mark by Cleveland. Now he was right there, but the defensive pressure forced that miss. Well contested. That really made it a tough shot. But David Lee, a two-time All-Star over the past five seasons, he's averaged about 19 points and over 10 boards a game. Impressive number. Here's Irving after the made shot from Andre Iguodala. And Iguodala comes to help. Parajal down low, covered by Barnes. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Such a careless pass. You've got to keep your head in the game here. Matthew Delavidova has checked in for Shumpert. The Warriors leading. Outside Curry. They double team Curry. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Thompson's got eight. David Lee is so consistently productive, and yet he's had his critics. Well, I think part of it is because people tend to focus on what guys can't do sometimes instead of all the things they do. And David Lee gives you consistent production as a scorer, as a finisher, and he's an underrated pastor as well. And you know what you're going to get from him every time he steps between those. Great effort and pretty consistent production. Guys, this doesn't look like the same team defensively we saw in the first half. I mean, they're flat as day old pop. Nobody near Irving. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Barnes dishes to Iguodala. Thompson left side. On the wing, again, Golden State. And their lead continues to grow as they keep playing good, sound basketball. Boy, they really have been executing well since halftime. The Cavaliers trail by nine. Smith with it. He's picked up by Lee. Smith in the post. He's up against Thompson. Nice shot by Smith. Smith's got his first points of the game. Thompson for the triple. And another three for Golden State. And the threes continue to go down at that end with almost nothing happening from deep at the other. But the way to turn that around is defensively by stopping their outside shot, not by getting into a shootout. And they're able to recover. And he gets it to go. Eight points for Anderson Barajá. Warriors leading by eight. Feeds it to Thompson. This one for three. That's good. And what's your two guys in the hustle stats for the Warriors? You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shot. And another thing they're doing is really taking advantage of fast break opportunities and scoring some easy baskets. Catching up on the changes for Golden State. Andrew Bogut checked in for Barnes. Barbosa comes in for Andre Iguodala. And it's Livingston in for Curry. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Cleveland. Good on the shot. Barbosa's got eight points. Up over 50% now from the floor with the way they've shot this half. Yeah, that's a nice improvement. It's not a surprise to see them out in front with the way they have shot throughout the entire game, as a matter of fact. They've been very efficient offensively. Well, I tell you, the Warriors are really a team with gifted passers, especially in the front court. Somewhat surprising that they were only in the middle of the pack in assists last season and one of the worst teams when it comes to turnovers. It's Thompson off the drive. It's a hand on it. Here's Verizhao, and he gets it to go. Verizhao's got four points now in the quarter. Excellent execution of the plan there. Warriors leading by nine. And one reason why the Warriors' assists might not rank that high, they did run a lot of post-ups in isolation. They did. They like to attack on the block and off the dribble. 
Ball movement wasn't always particularly effective, but uh, you know it seemed to me that the Warriors were at their best when the ball was flying around the perimeter. Got it. Nice one there from Delavidova. The Warriors shooting 52% from the floor. Nice work so far from them. Here's Lee. That drops and it comes off the assist from Livingston. And the Warriors lead by 11. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket, right in the shooting pocket for a terrific assist. They've done a lot of that today. Yeah, it's something we haven't seen much of at the other end of the floor, though. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Green is checked in for Golden State. Cleveland also making some changes. Mozgov, he's checked in for Verja. And it's LeBron in for Matthew Delavidova. Balanced scoring Clark and Steve for them. They're moving it well. Yeah, you love to see teams share the sugar. Everybody getting yeah. a touch. Everybody enjoying an opportunity to score. That makes it a lot of fun for everybody on the court. You know, it sounds better when you say it than watching. Okay? <laughs> I like better when you say it. Sharing the sugar. Well, right, and, Steve? <laughs> yeah, pass the cream, too. I mean, while you're at it. I mean, this has been something to watch. I mean, it, just everybody getting involved. Not really the shot they were looking for, but still they got it to go. It's deflected. Here's Thompson. That misses. Would have counted had it gone in. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well as we head to the fourth. Warrior. Steve, we've got a moment here to go to our State Farm assist of the game, coming on some very clever point guard play. Well, he mans that position for a reason, Kevin, because he passes the ball so well, sets up his teammates beautifully, really gets this offense into a nice rhythm. Delivering the pass important, but but putting the pass in the right place for shooters, as you well know, you. Yeah, no question. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, the two star, LeBron and Love. The three and the four. Amon Shepard is out there with Kyrie Irving. And it's Moskov and at the center filling out the middle. Now halftime was exactly what they needed as they have shot the ball much better coming out of the break. And yeah, they have looked a lot better this half. I don't know what it was. Um, perhaps they changed the rims, unbeknownst to us, but something changed. Moves back up. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A uh, three-point play chance here. Warriors, one of the top defensive teams in the league the last couple of seasons, and the improvement coincided with a change in defensive strategy, sending pick and rolls down towards the sideline. With that big standard Bogan and really protecting him. So they're doing what the coaches call shrinking the floor, and it's been very effective. The Cavaliers trail by 11. Irving attacking. Connects on the open J. It's a good thing he showed up today because without him, this team would be in big trouble. Warriors have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Well, the Cavaliers shooting the ball at 42%. Here's Shumper. They get it back. Well, as far as jump shots go, that's as high percentage as it gets. I'm not sure how that didn't go down. Barnes against Lund. Barnes can't get it to go. And so here's Cleveland. Here's Mozgov. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Mozgov's got five points in the quarter. Well, the Cavaliers largely underachieved last season. A big part of that was constantly dealing with distractions the, the entire season, it seemed. Yeah, it certainly appeared that way. It was always something with players fighting in-house or items getting leaked to the media and causing things to get stirred up. Very hard. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Kevin, during that last break, I heard the Warriors coach as he addressed his team. He told the players, let's put our foot on them and keep them down. We've got them exactly where we want them. I want to see you guys slow the pace, use the clock, and stay away from any silly fouls. And again, it's the Warriors missing. 
And with Cleveland, it was just a train of events that led to the bad environment between players getting into it with each other and saying they wanted out of Cleveland. Some players saying it was about their brand and nothing else. They did everything they could do to get things in order this summer and did a pretty good job at it. On better footing now, for sure. Livingston, no luck. He can't get anything to drop. And the way he's going, I'm not sure it's something he should try to shoot his way out of. Well, that might only serve to make things worse, Steve. Sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. We need him to start burying some of those. Check out the game from Moscow. He's got 12 rebounds, and he's been a good on-the-ball defender, too. He's got a pair of steals. Yeah, he's made some heads-up plays, Clark. He's done a really nice job defensively. Clay Thompson, he's jumped in for Sean Livingston. That one is no good. And for the Cavs, they needed to have a big change in culture. They seemingly did that with bringing LeBron back into the fold and hiring Black. You can expect him to be solely focused on winning games. Timeout called Cleveland. The short rest, very important, and one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late game push. And refocus, Kevin. you got to take care of your body. And I think we ought to drink some Gatorade here, too. I thought I noticed some slip-ups here last yeah. uh, <laughs> couple minutes from, from your end on the play-by-play. -play. <laughs> <laughs> Curry against Irving. From the arc. And Steph Curry gets the three. And now a 10-point Warrior lead. How about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? They have found their groove from deep, Steve. Curry brings the double. Shumper with it. Picked up by Thompson. Irving. Whistle blows. And that's going to be a travel. Warriors leading by 10. On its way from Curry for two. The shot's good on the assist by Iguodala. And it's now 23 points for Steph Curry. The Cavaliers have gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Stolen by Thompson. Iguodala kicks to Curry. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Curry's got 15 points in just the second half. The Cavaliers trail by 14. Nobody near Irving. Love the pass to Irving. Over Thompson. Irving's shot is good. Irving's got four this quarter. You know, normally when you dominate on the glass, it really shows up on the scoreboard, but not so much here today. You're right, Steve. Typically, it is a good barometer that indicates who's winning, but not so. Here's Mozgov. And all of can run that time before dropping in. Great game for him. Double, double down. 11 points and 13 rebounds. Pass to Green. Eight feet away. And the shot is good. That's their third straight make off an assist. Boy, the ball movement's been fantastic here in the last few possessions. There's a minute 34 left to play here in the fourth. Curry against Irving. And it's Shumpert penetrating. Can't hit play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. There's the steal. Here's Mozgov. He's covered by Iguodala. A three. Again, Shumper missing. He has just disappeared this quarter, not making a mark at all offensively. And I'm sure he's ready to put this quarter behind him and quickly. And Green gets it to go. And so only one team answered the bell tonight. Not a monster blowout by any means, but still a double-digit victory for the Warriors. Not only did they shoot the ball better, but they had more assists. Well, the ball movement was good. The player movement was excellent. And you only get assists when guys make shots. And what a huge standout performance it was for Curry. He was doing everything right, and the points seemed to come in bunches. He definitely had the hot hand. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. They didn't take their time wrapping this game up. They pretty much did it in a hurry. Yeah, they, they had a nice spurt to polish this one off. Here's James. Misses off the left iron. Good, tough defense there. Getting a hand up, forcing that miss. Well, he's got the reputation of being a tough defender, and there was an example right there for you. 
Well, Cleveland shooting here in the fourth quarter around 41 percent. High arcing shot. There's the bucket. Good. And it's the Warriors with the ball. And stolen by James. LeBron left side. Takes a big height bouncing goes in. Well, their offense has kicked into gear, but it seems to have arrived a little bit too late. And as a coach, that can really be frustrating. I mean, you guys were stumbling along for most of the game, and now when it's basically over, they finally decide to come alive. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. Congratulations on this win tonight, Stefan. And tell us a little bit about the driving philosophy behind how this team strives to be the most cohesive unit possible. To me, it's a commitment. And we know that that's going to you know, put us in good position to win every single night is if we bring the effort, um, multiple efforts at eight.